But here we are, game underway, all the team, well, teams yep. are loading in, I'm a bit slow to load in, P Flax is way ahead yeah. of me, racing ahead. I'm here, there you go. And uh, into the draft very shortly. Three, two, one, game on! <laughs> Give a countdown. All random. So here we are. What? No, no it's not all random. <laughs> oh! No, don't do that uh, to me. It's, cap it's definitely captain's mode. <gasps> and it's definitely first pick raging. First, that's first ban visage. Because that's what I said. Visage. They'll ban visage. Well, unless they think they might be able to get him. Actually, they, they know that they want him, so they'll get for FL to be. I was yeah, say there's the ban doom. yeah, there's the Yeah, there's the Doom ban. I know that Danny D likes to play Life Stealer as well. He does play a lot of Life Stealer. When I used to play with him, he played a lot of Life Stealer. Um, he used to play a lot, an awful lot of Naga Siren as well. Oh, really? Like Carry Naga Siren, probably his favourite hero. There's a Timber ban. I haven't seen Reason play too much Timber recently. Maybe mm. that's something they've seen in scrims and are a bit afraid of. Or they just don't like Timber. Or they just don't like Timber. Yeah. That's I mean, when I play Captain's Mode or Captain's Draft, Timber is up there with the heroes I ban. Like Slark, Timber, Sword, my pretty much first two bans. I do not want to play yeah, against those heroes. they're annoying heroes you don't want to have to play against, that's for sure. Um, I thought in that last game, the biggest pick there for a reason was Silencer. Yeah. And when I, I, I spoke to um, Infused about it just afterwards, and I said, what about that Silencer pick? And they were like, ugh. Because <laughs> they just completely screwed their team fight. Definitely did. Shadowfiend there, banned out as well. Ichigo, obviously, very adept at that hero. Yeah. OD still in the pool, though. Interesting. Interesting. I, I think, uh, I don't know if we'll, if we'll see an OD pick or not. I think we'll see Visage picked up. Dread loves Visage. Probably one of the best supports in the game. I think we used to see him play that so often. They'd have Alchemist, Venge, and Visage sort of switch. Oh. Oh. There's a hero for you. They'd switch between those supports and then have their core heroes very different. Mm. Well, Br I think Bristleback, um, I've just started getting to play him, and he's a lot of fun to play. I love being able to run around. H like hard to kill is something yeah. I'm generally not in a game. So when you have a hero that is inherently hard <laughs> to kill, it's kind of interesting. Turn your back on people just run around quilling them. It's good. So, Kit Kat's just telling you she's got earplugs. Yes. Good stuff. I got her to buy some earplugs. There, look at this. And Danny's going to get Gary Naga. I'm telling you right now. They got the Visage pick. Visage as well. Uh, but I guarantee you this will be Danny on the Naga Siren as a carry. Big um, insight there. Yeah. A little bit of p flex insight. I do know a few things. <laughs> of course, now it won't be that at all. Oh, it'll be a support Naga played by someone else. Yeah. But I'm, I'm going to put my reputation, such as it is, the flimsy, tattered reputation. Your I YouTube present, reputation. And throw it on the into the, the ring here. I'm going to say Danny on the Naga as carry. Um, and uh, a Marana for reason. So two big cool heroes there. And yep. Marana. And where do you reckon this Bristleback's going? He can solo off lane, but you can also play him. I think you want to put him as the carry. I really do. He's so strong. When, if you get a late game farm Bristleback, it's just so hard to kill, so much damage and hard hitting. And uh, I think, I don't know, you know, in the off lane, that's fine, sure, but you could put anybody in the off lane, you know, there's, I think you, you want to give him the farm. But do you run him in the tri lane or dual lane? I think dual lanes is probably the best with Bristleback. Because you need a combination. You need a yeah. combination of farm and levels for sure, but it's not like... It's not like he hits six and goes roaming. Do you know what I mean? It's not like he needs that six like Nyx or Bounty or something like that. I think he benefits from a bit of farm. Yeah. Anyway. I mean, with, with, with dual lanes, you have someone sitting behind the bristle back just in case he gets that yeah. little bit out of position, gets caught out, have someone with a stun, have someone with a slow, like Venomancer. Yeah. Maybe even a Keeper of the Light to keep his mana pool going. Crystal Maiden as well, great with the aura maybe in yeah. the other lane. Yeah, I think CM would be a good pick here, a very good pick, because he does have mana problems. Yeah. Get that CM. Get rid of those mana problems. He can just spam that quill, and he becomes a nightmare in lane. Then you've got Crystal Maiden Marana that couple up very yeah. nicely on another lane. Then you look for a solo mid for Ichigo. And I don't know, something with the Bristleback, possibly. Mm. Yep. But over on Full Love, we see that Visage Naga Siren. I would uh, love to see a Quop, you know. We haven't seen a Quop yet. Yeah. I think she's a she's a really good hero. I think we should get her. But uh, you know what? We You don't see PL as much anymore, either. Which is kind of... Which, uh, thank Christ, because... <laughs> That is a boring hero, but uh, Nature's Prophet banned by reason, and Clockwork, two heroes they don't want to have to play against. Uh, Bane and Shadow Demon, so the the F full love are banning out the uh, banning out the supports. Oh, and my debtor has just minimized for no reason whatsoever. He, his hands were literally off the keyboard and mouse. I was not touching the keyboard or the mouse, and, and it goes, minimized. Whoop. What the hell? Viper picked up by full love there. Okay. Solo mid Viper a possibility. Yeah, maybe. But very good at kiting that bristle back. Oh. Yeah, maybe. Dazzle.
So we've got Minus Armor with the Weave, we've got Heal and Grave for the Bristleback to sustain him in these team fights. Now answer me this. The Quills would proc Corrosive Skin, right? Yes. So the whole time the Bristleback's running around Quilling, he's going to be taking Corrosive Skin damage from Viper, so that's quite a nice little, yeah. little thing there. I'm just wondering, with the song, <clears throat> what are they going to be setting up? Because I like to see the song used to set up something. I just wonder, or, you know, maybe it's just going to be a get out of jail, or just to get into position, net somebody, get your get your rip, get your ult, you know, your illusions out and everything like that. That's what they're okay. going to be setting up. There's a death prophet. Death prophet ulti is ridiculous. There you go. This could be an interesting one. Um, death prophet. That's a excellent, excellent uh, <coughs> team fighting hero. Um, what can you do against death prophet? It's very difficult because she has pretty good lane control with the Crypt Swarm or Corpse Swarm. No, it's Crypt Swarm. They keep changing names of things. I've got to keep on my toes here. Um, she's good at getting runes with uh, her passive. She's fast as crap. Yeah. Really is. Especially if you build her as like race car Death Prophet. And one of the things is, previously, before she was buffed, getting that level 6 ulti wasn't a big deal because you didn't have max passive, so you wouldn't have that many ghosts. But now they've buffed the damage of them. It's definitely worth it. You can, as soon as your enemy mid leaves the lane, you can go for that tier one tower. It's kind of like having that DK. But once that DK hits six and the enemy mid leaves the lane, he just goes straight for that tower. Yeah. But with this Viper, they've got lots of control. They can hold down that Bristleback, stop him from diving. Naga Siren and Snare and Song, same thing. They want to try and reset fights, stop mm. Reason from getting that impetus, getting that drive and diving behind these tier one and tier two towers. And I think Enchantress is going to be an interesting factor here. <coughs> Whether she can get good RNG in the jungle, get some good creeps, yeah. move towards the lane which has the weakness. The only thing I'll say here is this Bristleback is going to be impossible to kill. He's going to have Dazzle maybe. and Enchantress healing him. He's going to have Marana Ult if he gets in yep. real trouble. Five Whoever the sixth, really. this comes out like Omni or something. We're just <laughs> looking at four support one or something. Ridiculous. Reserve time. So at this moment, I guess we're looking at let me think. Enchantress, Dazzle, Bristle top maybe. Marana in the off lane or in the mid. And then a mid or an off lane, maybe. A well, reason are Radiant. So Enchantress in the aggressive jungle? Maybe, yeah, maybe. I think they're still looking for a solo mid for Ichigo here. The OD's been banned, so maybe for love are thinking the same thing. I just wonder how the Reason guys are thinking of laning up against Full Love though, because that Visage Naga is a pretty vicious combo there. And Snare, Soul Assumption, Riptide can do lots of damage. Mm. Viper as well, we've seen how well he can do in lane control and harassing. Death Prophet, mm. she can make early rotations. Crypt Swarm does a lot of damage on level three. Who would be good against Death Prophet here? Well, ideally you'd want to lock her down, stun her, hex her before she gets the ulti off, and nuke her off the face of the map which is relatively easy because she has a low HP pool. Mm. But as, she, as soon as she gets that ultimate off, you have to focus so hard to yeah. kill her. But when you've got Viper, you've got Naga, you've got Visage roaming around, looking Ten for kills, really. locking you down, it can be a bit of a difficult target. Yeah. I'm so, I mean, thinking who Five would be mid, really. who would mid oh. well against her? Um, OD, which is banned. Reserve Invoker, time. which is banned. <laughs> you don't want to go a melee hero, really, so you wouldn't want to go Magnus, Brewmaster, things like that, because you get nuked from the lane. Queen, uh, Queen of Pain would be decent, mm. so we might see a Queen of Pain here. I think she's she's just an interesting hero. She's fun. She'd give Reason a, a nice bit of burst damage too. That fifth pick for for love here. Let's it's see a big what decision. they go for. See it's now, a big it's decision. It's, they could show away their draft here with this final pick. So this is uh, this is almost certainly going to now be a support Naga Siren. Right? Not well, you could go off lane Viper. Well, that's the thing, not necessarily, because with this last pick, they could either show their draft completely, show all their cards, and like you said, they could have support Naga, and that's going to be obvious. Or they could have a hero which could run multiple roles. So we could have carry Naga with a Visage supporting, and then have Viper with someone else supporting him and run dual lanes. Or we could have the Viper mid Death Prophet on the safe lane, and now then have an go. aggressive okay. try lane with Brilliant. the Visage Naga so and Life So instead, it's going to be Prophet mid, Viper off, maybe even Viper with Visage, and maybe Naga Siren Lifestealer support. Or they could even go with Tri-Lane Visage, Naga Siren Viper, and leave Lifestealer to farm solo. Yeah, there are so many options. But this will be Danny D on the Lifestealer. It's a favorite hero of his, for sure. I think that the Viper would work better in that aggressive Tri-Lane if they do run that and have Lifestealer solo safe. Yeah. 
Ten seconds remaining. Well, I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking. I don't know where Reason are going to run this trial lane. With the Enchantress, it's remaining. obviously safer to run that in your friendly jungle rather than going for an aggressive jungle in the dire side. So Reserve I think Full Love are going along those lines. Dazzle support the Bristle on the safe lane. Enchantress in that jungle going to look towards roaming mid. Mirana on the off lane and have someone in the mid. But we're going to have to see with their fifth and final pick what they actually go for. That is a strong lineup for Full Love. <laughs> that is a strong lineup. They've gone for Puck. That'll shut that profit down. Oh, yes. Interesting. Um, Dread Knight on the Enchantress. I've played with him a lot, and his Enchantress is legit yep. as heck. A Visage, Enchantress, Chen, all these micro heroes. Yep. Dread does very well on indeed. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be Death Prophet mid, and we're going to have Viper probably solo safe here. Mm -hmm. um, looking forward to seeing Ichigo on Puck. I like Puck. He's a, he's a, he's a good, interesting hero. Uh, he makes games happen. We're just waiting for Dazzle to pick a zero. There we go. And now we're into the game. So, a quick pause. They always pause. What we're is this? Running over tactics. Uh, where are we laning, guys? What are we doing? Please tell us the plan. But I think what they should do here, run the aggressive tri lane, Naga, Visage, and Lifestealer. Can I unpause? I don't think you can. No. Damn. <laughs> I just tried. D God. <laughs> Danny D God. Okay. So Death <laughs> Every time the lights go out, it freaks me out. It really does. Where did the lights go? So, let's run through the teams. On the Radiant team, we've got Dread Knight on the Enchantress and Tab on the Marana, who he played in the last game. Uh, Gronus on the Bristleback, Khan on the uh, Dazzle, and Ichigo on the Puck. Over on the dire side, we've got Arya, a.k.a. Danny D, a.k.a. D-God. Then we've got P.O. on that uh, Death Prophet. R.I.P. Thompson on that Naga. Standin McGraw on the Visage. And the Pearly Jesus on that Viper. Mm -hmm. And they've paused. I, I assume for strategies, but you know. Well, he's asking, how do you change the shop to list all items? Why can't I see that? Well, when you press enter? Yeah. Maybe maybe you have him muted. Maybe he's been a naughty boy. I'm just making some final adjustments to their hotkeys. It makes you wonder, you know, what are the players doing when they're sat there for half an hour? They're all on the bloody internet. They're on <laughs> Facebook, aren't they? <laughs> on Facebook, on Twitter, seeing what people are writing. So we have to go until I change. Change all that. But here we are underway. Groner's on that Bristleback, so he's going to be farming carry like you thought he would be. Dread Knight on that Enchanter. So probably going to go into the safe jungle here. And oh, what's going on here? Safeguarding their pool spot, it looks mm -hmm. like. Yeah. Standing McGraw has sentries. Oh, and they switched this up. So I thought Danny D would be their tri lane player, but it looks like they're going for what I thought would be a better tri lane with that Viper. I'm going to have to see how they stand up against this. So, Death Prophet mid, as expected. Life Stealer, I reckon it'll be, yeah, it will be the, the, the aggressive try. Viper, Nagasire, and Visage. That is not a happy group of people to bump into. No, definitely not. You do not want to be up against those guys. And there was always the opportunity to swap the Lifestealer for the Viper. But I think the Viper's better with that range, with that slow. You've got more opportunities to harass yeah, and get that last hit. Yeah. Um, he'll be, Lifestealer will be up against a Marana, but he's got that shield. So hopefully that'll manage the, minimize the harass, the harass coming in from Marana for him. She's just gone for tangos and a wraith band. I don't think I've ever done that. Really? Yeah. I always buy like a bunch of. I, I'm obsessed with getting a wand as early as possible. <laughs> like, I hate not having a wand. It but depends. up against lifestyle, you don't really need one. No. So. The battle begins. Because her base damage is relatively low. I think mm. she's in the bottom ten yeah, of, of, miserable. of starting base damage. She's got a bow and arrow. <laughs> how can it? How can it not be it, good? It's a flimsy bow and arrow until you get some nice items. And he's grabbed his haste and he's going to charge up here. Maybe try and pull the first creep wave with the uh, looks like it. The yeah. haste. 
Well, he's definitely aggroed the range creep. I'm he's not got sure the that, range and that's it. I'm not sure that's what he wants Go, to do. Follow me, boy. The range creep is crazy. I always think it looks like they've got one leg. Yeah, they're sort of hopping along. And they're sort of running using the, their wand for support. But, <laughs> but that, the that was a funny little pull. The Radiant side doesn't have that same problem. It's mm. just the Dire one. It's a bit derpy. So, uh, oh, this is, I love this Naga set. This is a cool one. The, uh, the massive helm. Grunner's and uh, trouble. slow going down on Grunner's, but um, he's pretty, pretty tough to kill. He's got those quills. I don't know if you saw fails of the week this week. They had a, the Bristleback got a triple kill. Yeah, I saw that. That was disgusting. Like three guys going on the bristle back and then realizing far too late yeah. that his quills are stacking you, and doing you could more just and see, more damage. You could see their brains catching up with what was going Uh-oh. Look, like they all started to try and run away. It's too like, late. Guys, we're going to die running away. Oh, wait. <laughs> hang on. <laughs> that was really good. Um, so what can Enchantress get in the jungle? Absolutely nothing because it looks like it's pretty much... It was all warded This is up. such a great spot for a ward. That's it. They've got like all of them. Uh-oh. And a pause from... Uh, Lifestealer. Would be nice to know what's going on. <coughs> Lifestealer going for an early point in rage, doesn't it caught out by an arrow? Yeah. And then also open wound, so none in feast. He doesn't want to push that lane too hard. He already has the quelling blade as well, so he should have no trouble last hitting over the Marana. So Marana's gonna have a little bit of difficulty here getting last hits and getting that farm with that lifestealer. Or Venom as well now on him. Marana's eyes are just a little bit too far apart. <laughs> she's almost pretty. She, yeah, she's nice, but her eyes are just a little bit too far apart. Now look at life too. Everything's nice and symmetrical in his face. What a beauty. Especially his teeth. Yeah. Bristleback. I like Bristleback. I love the voice acting for Bristleback. It's like a, a proper accent. You know what I mean? Some of the other <laughs> accents are not quite so good. What, like Luna's? <laughs> Luna. <coughs> Nova. Nova. And she kind of trash talks people. I quite like when she trash talks people. It's quite funny. But Bristleback's really funny. Oh. He basically just constantly says, don't try and kill me because I'll turn around and kill you. <laughs> yeah. I find it last hitting with him so difficult with that flipping mace. It's hard to tell when it's coming. How do you feel with Razor then? Is Razor even more difficult? Awful. Oh dear. Not entirely sure what settings. Like, I think generally speaking, um, what a lot of people do is have um, uh, auto exec yeah. on a thumb, on a thumb drive, and you just come up, and at the end of each game, you just blast that on there, they copy it over, and your settings are all good to go. They should work on that for next time, yeah. I think. That's definitely what, what they should work on. The only thing we've got to watch out for then is obviously the opportunity to script or true but then what you have is maybe um the organizers ask for an yeah. auto exec config you send it to them they give it they they put it on there themselves so the yeah. admins are the ones who put it on there i need to unignore dread and Khan because <laughs> half the time the stuff that they're typing i can't see <laughs> So Gronos two for two. Why does show? Why does it? So what he's asking is um, when you press Alt, it shows the hero names rather than the icons. Yeah, I think it's interface. Hold Alt to highlight hero names. Icons always on minimap off. Uh, minimap icons instead of names. Yeah, on. So it's game interface minimap icons instead of names. Dreads already said it. Oh, has he? Last hit wise, we've got 10 for 4 on that DP, beating out that Puck, who's 9 for 1. Not really what I would expect. With the DP's uh, Crypt Swarm, I'd expect her to have more last hits technically, but the denies are a surprise to me. Yeah. Have Cyborg to Matt to the rescue once again. Swoops in like Batman. <laughs> Fixing everything. <laughs> He's a great guy to have around when you've got a Dirt 2 tournament to run. Yeah. If we didn't have him, I don't know what we'd do. No. Got the got the admin ticket sorted. I'll make a phone really call. Handy. Make a phone call. <laughs> just let me get yeah, on Skype. Just give us a phone call. Calls up. He's raiding. Is Gabe, it's Matt. <laughs> Gabe, Gabe, sort it. Give me a sec. Gabe's <laughs> raiding. He's in some <laughs> Japanese. Wow. 
So, uh, Viper has boots already. That's going to be pretty rough for this, for this bot lane, yeah. Six for three on him. Oh, ouchie. Could be Let's some heavy some harassment. Here, huh? do, 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 do. Sorted and ready. Thank God. Please, Icebog, please. So on this mid lane, that Null Talisman Puck doing decently now. The Death Prophet has left the lane, but she picks up a regen rune. And on bot, the supports have returned. Gronlins has to be awfully careful here. He does have one level in Bristleback, but they really He's do have to change the name of that yeah, spell. Yeah, he is hard to kill. Bristleback with Bristleback. Like, come on, be original. What, what, what should they call it? Sp know. Spiny back? Spiky bum. Spike bum. Yep. Bristleback spike bomb is proccing all the quills. That's what, whenever we're playing with someone's on Bristleback, Shane always says, show them your ass." <laughs> yeah. Oh, smoke from Dread here. Can he come in from the side? Pings come out so they know he's there. Yeah. Spotted. This, uh... They got a ward there or something? No, I think they just saw him through the through the fog. He just peeked around the tree and got spotted. And what kind of creep has he got? He's got the troll. Dark troll 7F. Those skeletons are no joke. It's a real shame the way the enchant wears off. Yeah. Because you're like, man, I really want this guy. Now it's just golems as far as the eye can see. Yeah, you can find a centaur, which isn't a bad creep, but they don't have anything nice to set Nice dodge from it you go. It's so stupid the way face your cost no mana. Yeah. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and he's just going to dodge this all day. That's nice. So, I mean, the travel time on Crypt Swarm is such that you can face shift it pretty much every time. It's a fairly telegraphed spell. Yeah. It's like, oh, I am going goes, to cast whoa, this whoa, whoa, whoa. spell. And then a load of bats shoot at you. Smash you can see your they actually now. PO cancelling the animation of it two or three times. Oh, yeah, if just you to, go to not try falling for the bait. Out, yeah. Yeah. So he's Waits waiting. until he sees the bats. Yeah, exactly. Now, how's Antap doing up here? Let's have a look. He is twenty. He's leading the last hit board. Yeah. Antap is beating this life stealer off I'm, the I'm lane. not surprised. I'm not surprised. Genuinely, he's. I mean, I'm always surprised every time I see Antap in a lane. He shouldn't be winning. He missed, like, missed one there that he should have got. But I generally want to know how he does it. The thing is, why do you think he should be losing the lane? Life stealer has better attack animation. He's yep. a melee hero. He yep. can get up in the face of the Mirana like this. She Mirana can leap has to away. leap away. Life stealer just keeps getting hits on. Then yep. life stealer goes back to farming. Right. Then life stealer regens off the creeps. Lifesteal also has a Quelling Blade, has better attack damage. Right. He has all of these factors in his favor, but Antab is still managing to get harassment off and get last hits at the same time. The thing I would, the only thing I would say is, this is obviously like Antab's, one of his favorite heroes, right? I don't think you can underestimate the importance that that has. Yeah. Like, I, I, when I, and I, I'm not for one second comparing myself to Antab or anything, but when, <laughs> I, when I play a hero that I really know, compared to a hero that I'm kind of shaky on, the difference in everything, mm. last hitting, Knowing how to harass, knowing just knowing the range of everything, is huge. And you you don't, you never leave anything off cooldown for very long. Like if I play Lich or something, I've just you know I know exactly what I'm doing. I have played that many games, so I don't know if, if Danny plays a lot of different heroes. I know he has played a lot of Life Stealer, but he's up against a ranged hero and a, some on a player who knows that hero inside yeah. out. So it's always going to be tough. That's the thing with the Marana's attack animation. She has 600 range, but it always seems longer because she can launch the arrow and run backwards. So it seems like it travels further. But she's got she's got bottle as well, and I think that's that's so handy. It's not gonna hold. Look at the. I mean, th at this point, he's not he's not up there. He can't be up there with his lack of health. Puck doesn't have a bottle. Interesting enough, gone for boots first. Mm. So allowing that Death Prophet to get the runes while Puck just wants oh. to sit in the lane. Oh, the rage! That was nice timing there from Danny. I think that would have been a dead Danny D. Basically, what Ichigo is doing at this mid lane, he's giving up the runes, allowing Death Prophet to oh, leave the lane. Oh, oh the oh. chase is on. Dread has rotated up here. Infest inside, inside the, the tomato. And Pops out. out again. And there's a leap. There's the ult. And Mirana will vanish. Miranda's just going to walk away. Danny's going to take a couple of bonks from a satyr. Vizier's just TP'd up here to help him. <laughs> Dread I didn't even see that rotation. I was as surprised <laughs> as anybody. Dread suddenly appears. Double damage. But yeah, on this mid lane, what Ichigo is doing, letting the Death Prophet get the runes, that means Ichigo has free farm for a, you know, basically two waves now, where he's controlling the lane, pulling it back to his tower, not letting Death Prophet get as many last hits, yep. which is why he's now caught up. He's 31 for 7 against 33 for 7. But the level difference, level 7, oh, Death Prophet is actually slightly ahead. That's, that's an interesting one. Hmm. Yeah, I was going to make the point that Ichigo wants to get that blink dagger... Uh, 
Blink Dagger early, so that's why he wants to get Wait, all Wait, why do you think hits. Ichigo's ahead? He's ahead. He's ahead, he's ahead now. Yeah. Oh, I see, at the time. But he, oh, yeah. he wasn't. Uh, I mean, the thing is, go. with Crypt Swarm, it's so easy to just blast last hits, you yeah. know. And he's only ahead because Death Prophet had to go get that last rune, and he pulled the lane all the way back, got that right. uh, creep wave. Oh, top lane. Hands having a bit of trouble. Danny D looking for that Marauder. What is he doing? He's hunting. I'm intrigued to see how he's going to get out of this one. Oh, he's got rage, so he shouldn't, oh, yeah, have, he should be shouldn't have an issue. There, he's oh, rage up. There no! He doesn't rage! It's going to be first blood to end tap! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. What, he wasn't low on mana. No, he had rage he ready to go. Didn't press it. And uh, a little bit of baiting coming out from the Reason team shouting D God. I think that was a goober. No, did, did they say they shout D -God. It's so difficult to tell yeah. the difference. I think I think there, there, there was enough not to just shout goober. <laughs> no, really I don't know. It's you reason may as well just gaming. shout no <laughs> That's that's rude. So yeah, that was a thing. I really he had so much time then. Ichigo is really going at yeah, this. Yeah, he really is. I mean, those ones he gets is basically free kills on pretty much everybody. The thing is, what does Death Prophet go? She's got arcane. It's a rotation. But what with the what's the next item? Yeah. Dread needs to be very careful here. He should. Oh no! Here comes Life Stealer. Not gonna Open slow. Not gonna slow. There we go. There's a the slow. And there's the and rage. That's a dead, dead Dread Knight. Dead Dread. Yep. Tomato getting involved with the Centaur. Infest oh, takes the nice Tomato. Stun. Inside out, and uh, DP goes back. So how's this bot lane panning out? We almost have mech completed on that Bristleback. He's about 700 gold away from that. Khan doesn't have boots yet, and he's pretty Puck cool. Puck is like 400 from Blink. Yeah, and Napoli Jesus. So it's pretty even now between this Viper and Bristleback. <laughs> uh, I love Ichigo's timing. And pretty much every single thing that comes his way, he's face shifting it. Except that one. Except that, it but it was on cooldown. So cut him some slack. <laughs> Teams shouting at each other. Yeah, uh, yeah. He, he. They could have got the death prophet there. I think the question was, I had. Why didn't you just give them the dream coil and then I can arrow them? Radiance top tower is under attack. Uh, yeah, interesting. Oh, there's an arrow. That creep died. Yeah, that gloriously. Creep definitely died. Gloriously. Um, Antab's farm is uh, 37, 14 denies. That, that's got to be taken into account. That um, those 14 last hits, Danny probably would have got. Yeah, and with the recent change now, there's no difference between <coughs> the deny XP you get whether you're ranged or melee. So mm. nice little balance there. Because before, if you're a melee hero and being denied against, you didn't really care too much. But if you're ranged, it really did matter, especially mm. in the mid lane. Strange that it was—it was a strange rule that I didn't—I never yeah. quite understood it. That's why we rarely see mid solo melee heroes anymore, because obviously that was something people took into account. That was a key factor in why you put a tanky melee solo dragon mid -hero. knight. Yeah. Well, br things like Brewmaster and Beastmaster, we mm. don't see anymore. Yeah. Where's this Naga going? Heading around back to really defend Tier 1. There's a little bit of a push here coming from the Reason side. Antab pushing up on this top lane, going for that drums he's so loved. This is, look how far she's. 385 with mana boots. Look at this weird Death Prophet set. What is up with his head? I don't know. I've never seen that. That is fucked up. I'm just going to say that. That is That is scary. I'm genuinely afraid. He's got a spiked collar. Spiked and wicked, popped. Wicked collar of the That is a maiden. spiked, popped collar <laughs> yeah, with definitely. horns. Middle tower Runners, is all alone looking in the world. like he might be in a bit of trouble. Kuria getting a couple of hits from Naga. Naga that has is, uh, to be awfully careful. A nice, a, a really early mech on Bristle. Yeah. It's so good on Bristle because you want to be there in the middle of the fight yeah. with the supports around you. I mean, also, I guess if you think about it this way, <laughs> That's Rasta so Gaming. Rasta Gaming very happy. Their all. And not, uh, not just cheering, but turning to face their opponents and cheer at them. <laughs> cheering in their direction. I'm going to have to make a request to, to get another Magnus with Ice. If somebody brings me. Or any other cider. But preferably that one. Yeah, with the Bristleback Mech, it's kind of the same as the Viper. You have this tanky hero who can do lots of damage sustained throughout a team fight. And... You Dyer's use it as a utility hero attack. rather than a hard carry. Oh, that's got to hurt. So mm. he's probably going to go for Arcane <coughs> Boots next because his team, such as Dazzle, just doesn't have the gold to pick that up too early. Mm. What, are you, what are you going to build on Enchantress? Given that uh, Bristle's got a mech, do you, 
Oh, oh. This could be a dead Napoli Jesus here. The slow coming down. No snot. No snot at all. Hasn't got the mana to support. He's just going to chase him down. Give him the quills. 15 one charge. Oh, damage. Yep, he does wand up. Marana ult to try and walk away. Bristle will live. Is there any rotation here from the mid? No. Dazzle turns around. He will just TP out. I'm not There's sure what that dive blue, was about. I don't know what the blue pony is doing. I think that if he hadn't had the one charges, they could have run him down with the quills. Yeah, I guess so. But uh, 15 one charges, that'll do it for You've you. You've got to know that if he's been sitting in the lane with a bristle back the entire time, he's got to have some one yeah, charges. Yeah, that arrow was close. Uh, Death Prophet has so used her ult. Viper's, Viper's got a mech here. He's got lots of time there to farm. Um, what kind of boost is he going for here? Should get phase, right? But he's got the ring of protection. The ring kind of, he's yeah. not going to get tracks, is he? No, I don't think so. That's an interesting one. Did, did he have tranquils before and turn it into a mech? I don't think he did. I don't think so. see. But this uh, Death Prophet, 2,300 gold, mm. moving up to this top lane, looking for a push on the tier 1 life dealer. Why? What is she going to do with all that moolah? I don't know. That's what I was talking about five minutes ago. I'm not sure about what item she can go for. Like Puck, obviously, going for that blink. Mm. A very good item for Puck. But Death Prophet, there are so many avenues you can go down, and it's very easy to slip up getting caught up in your item build. Mm. Because she can tank up and just run into people with her ultimate. She could go for mana regen and spam her spells constantly. She could go for a pipe or something like that to help her team sustain, but there's not too much magic there. Yeah. Oh, Dread getting caught out by a tower. <laughs> Taking about five hits from that tower and almost dying to it. He's got the pixies. The pixies will help him. And he's going for an Aghanim straight up. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's ridiculously strong on Enchantress, to be honest with you. That, I mean, impetus is huge. Yeah. Pure damage, nuke on your yeah, auto attack. It's huge. Um, so there's a ward on top of a ward here. They are literally on top of each other, those wards. <laughs> yeah, identical warding. They're best friends. Oh, Bristleback picks up treads rather than arcanes. So this mana sustain is going to be quite limited mm. for him. Uh, I mean, Quills, it's only 35. And then he's got the mech to go as well, which is 150. Yeah. He's just going to run. I mean, that's a lot of quills. 455 yeah. mana. That's going to buy you a lot of quills. That's like 10, 11, 12, what? Something like that. The thing is, if he's staying on a lane and harassing and maybe last hitting with the quills, say he's got 300 mana. Half of that goes to the mech. Then he's got 155 mana. Mm. Then he's got three quills to go. Yeah. Four, maybe. That's a good point. He can always tread switch. Yeah, obviously. He can tread switch. Switch between treads. So uh, we haven't cast Raster Gaming yet, but I think we're going to cast them at some point. I don't know about today. We might, because there is there are games today still to come. I'm pretty sure the sort of top eight teams who are competing <laughs> for that first place will be in the elimination stages. Yep. So uh, we're, we're casting part of the elimination stages today. I believe so. Okay. It's a long old day here yeah. at ESL, but we're cracking on. There haven't been too many surprises. No. I think the teams that came here to play for fun, maybe win a game, have... You know, not failed miserably, but no. they ha they haven't done very well. I honestly think if you turn up to have fun and you have fun, you've, you're ahead. Yeah. Like if you turn up and you think we're not, we know we're going to lose, but we're going to have fun anyway. Then you know, you know, you can't say you're disappointed. What have you I mean, lost? It's yeah, it's fun. Look, at, I keep getting this effect with Marana's arrow where I just see the shadow. I don't weird. see the actual arrow. It's weird. It's these, it's these arrow. damnable computers. Uh, Puck exchanging punches with Death Prophet gets the silence off. And phase shift. Nope. Oh. Does the jaunt, sorry. So that's what the necro, uh, that's what the DP goes for. Necro 1. And you are lagging out pretty hard. Me? No? Or was that just Ichigo not moving at all? No, he was just not moving. Okay. He was just getting stuff off the um, the courier. Because the way everything was just like stood still. Oh, right. No, he w he was just stood still. <laughs> he was taking stuff <laughs> And then, the, and the, then the, courier. the courier floating yeah. above him. So Death Prophet's push is going to be absolutely bonkers. Um, <laughs> but plus her ult is, uh, that's, that's crazy. It's going to be good for the Mirana ulti as well. Yeah. Necro 3 wants us up. They're going to be able to spot that out. Yep. Neckbook very strong. Oh, uh, Lifestealer life got his omelette. Omelette phase. Uh, what do you get next? I, I like a basher on Lifestealer myself. There's um, a lot of... But there's loads of ways you can go. Yeah, there's a lot of sort of contention in this. What's the bet? Oh, here we oh, go. Fight bot. The bot lane. TP down. An immediate rage. Big, but big the net there. doesn't care. And he infests inside the troll and kills it. Yes. And that's a centaur dead. Lots of crib swarm going down. Goop all over her. There goes the dream coil catches two. But the song 
Here she sings the song of the people. TPO comes awful. out. Oh, silence, no. Steel series. Uh, Rona's running away. Khan with the shadow wave. Ichigo, face shift. He dies. One. Arrow takes care of Death Prophet, but Puck and Moran are dead. Big, and, big uh, fight. Yeah. See, that that's what that Naga song does. Set up for that DPL. Allow her to escape. Reset the fight. Dream Call is almost useless there. Yep. Yeah, so 3-2, and this should be a tier 1 bot. It's certainly got the push now. They've got the neck book creeps, although they're about to pop. Uh, DP did die to a Miranda arrow, I believe, and they're going to back off. What are they pinging? They've been pinging this a lot. I think they're saying deward that. Yes, yeah, there are wards here. Bristleback building towards an AC, it looks like, going for that armor. Wants to try and block as much damage on that life stealer as possible. Also the Death Prophet, because those ghosts on Axis didn't do physical damage. Mm. Oh, I've got the Death Prophet bug where her hair's disappeared. <laughs> this <it> only <laughs> happens on Death Prophet. It ha used to happen to me on Death Prophet and Crystal Maiden. So we'd have bull There, Crystal there, Maiden. now it's back, okay. Weird. Really, really weird. So she is not, she's going for... Uh, I wonder what she's going to do. She's just going to get Netbook 3 up and go for crazy yeah. push. It looks so, like that uh, yeah. So Dredge's got a troll and a tomato. Pretty good. Pretty good. That net is good. The net goes through rage, which surprised me. Yeah. One of the few things it does. Interrupts channeling abilities. This troll's got it all, man. And what's Khan so got? Khan's gone for an urn. He's level 7, so he's done decently for himself down on spot lane. Yeah. I mean, if you look at Gronn, he's level 8, almost really level 9. About that then we've got level 11 on Puck Marana, Death Prophet, and Lifestealer. Lifestealer's down here. He's ready to rock. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Radiance Middle yeah. Tower has wow. fallen. So there's Radiance Middle Tower went down. Death Prophet is not stopping. Hamtab finds a kill on the visit on top lane with the help of Puck. So they are taking, well they're trying to take the tier 2. Death Prophet here is pushing down the mid. Where's she going? She TPs out. Uh, she runs away as there's a TP in from Hamtab. Meanwhile top, Nagasiren pushing. Meanwhile here, the tomato is pushing. Lifestealer eats the tomato. This infest of the Enchantress uh, creeps is yeah. kind of screwing with Enchantress in a big way. Oh yeah, going back to the lifesteal item build, there are so many ways you can go. You can go for Sandinash, you can go for Drums, you can go for Bash, you can go for AC, Death Slater, Blink Dagger. Mm. There are so many ways to go with lifestyle. It depends what you want to do with your team. I norm I normally like to get Drums and um, either Armlet or Basher first, but pro probably both of those. Yeah. Just but because the Drums are awesome, give you that extra speed. But also then if I'm having trouble catching people, like you said, Blink, or a Sandra and Yasha. Because but, uh, their game plan is pretty much allow reasons to initiate on us with Enchantress creeps, Bristleback, Puck blinking in, have the Naga there to reset the fight with the song, yep. and then chase Reason away. Yep. So they need that movement speed, they need some slows, they've got Viper, they've got the Naga Siren and Snare, but they need something else. I think he might go for Bash or Sandra and Yasha as his next. Oh, they're TPing. Back, back. It's a call from Reason. Yeah, first the of all, they were in. afraid. They thought that 4Love would go for that tier 1 bot. But now there's Who's no trade. Who's going down there? TPing bot is Ichigo to mop that up. Only 3-3 three, three after 20 minutes. Another cautious game. Um, and three of those kills for Reason are on Mirana. <laughs> <laughs> and to have having a pretty good game. 110 CS. 104 on the Death Prophet. Going to smoke into Roche or not? Yeah, they are. Yeah, it looks like they are. Let's have so a look at the net worth. 8.3k up on Mirana, 7.2k up on the Death Prophet, and almost 7k on that uh, Bristleback. So he's doing pretty damn yeah. well. Yeah. AC is definitely on the cards for about 25 minutes in. Interesting, yeah. A good pickup for him. Because uh, once you get those stacks of Warpath, he is only level 9, of course, but uh, once he gets those stacks of Warpath up, uh, the Tomato has scouted them out. He's going to try and deny it. Come on, Dread, you can do it. No, nope, it dies. They killed the tomato. Let's focus it down. And there's the Aegis now. On the Viper. Yeah. I guess you figure, like, lifesteal is hard enough to kill as it is. And Viper wants to get in there in the middle of the fight with that mech. Yeah. He'll have uh, another big item coming up soon. I mean, he's been saving up a lot of gold, mm. keeping things in his stash. Mm. That's the kind of item you don't want to show your enemy yeah. too early. Yeah, definitely. It's an interesting one. Manta style nearly completed for Antab. That's going to help them with their split push. Yeah, they need to do that. 
Allow him to dodge and snare as well. They, and get out of silence. They're up against this strong push of... I mean, in fact, Death Prophet, Visage, and Nagasar, and even Lifestealer are all very good at taking out buildings. So that is strong push. Compare that with Reason, and I guess you... Oh, uh, there's a song. That was a mistake. That was an accident. The the old No One's Listening song. <laughs> And that's a that's a three minute cooldown. If a Naga sings in the woods, does anyone hear? Well, her friend, her teammates here, and they probably give her a, a, a few <laughs> choice words. I will tell you what. Dread nearly completed the Aghanim, so that's going to be a lot of pure damage coming out if he can position himself well. He's going to be sitting in the back of the fight, to allow his creeps to go up in front with the bristle back and sit back, wait for the song, and then start fighting. There's a netbook three now on Death Prophet. I think uh, this is one of the problems Reason are going to have. They can't initiate on full love. Yeah. Because if, if they initiate on more than two or three heroes, they're going to get stopped in their tracks and things are going to turn around so quickly. I'm getting some weird effects as well. I heard Reason say they uh, can't see my orb. And I can't. I sometimes can't see certain effects as well. It's kind of weird. We are, we are having a little bit of packet loss because, of course, there are around 200 people using computers in this room and they're all using the internet. Sometimes I think things get a little messed up, but uh, some wires crossed. Yeah, but this is still only three-three at twenty-three minutes. This is quite a slow, steady game. It's Both like it teams taking the easy. Three K difference in favor of Reason. Two K in favor in terms of XP. So they've got a slight lead. They've got map control at the moment. Yeah. But there's a lot of potential in full love. They've got the life stealer who can be a very heavy hitter. Death Prophet Ulti can never be underestimated. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's big. The other thing, of course, is that both teams have heroes that are quite hard to kill. Yes. Enchantress <laughs> is hard to kill. Puck is hard to kill. Well, let's just put it this way. Everyone on the reason team is hard yeah. to kill. And everyone on the, f on the, uh, on the for love team, pretty much pretty hard to kill. Well, Gravekeeper's Cloak is an incredible spell for yeah. Visage. Makes him hard to you kill. You can sing. High armor on the Naga Life Stealer can sing. infest. Yeah. <laughs> there are so many escape Viper grows his skin and just hard to kill. Death Prophet, it's race ridiculous. car, and ult. So many escape mechanisms, so many stats, yeah. so many things making both teams very reluctant to fight each other because they don't know which way things are going to turn. Yeah. And like you said, that kind of the initiation is a little tricky. In the last game we saw there was lots of initiation. Puck, they're basically relying on Puck to get a sick dream coil. And then well, they can maybe get an arrow on someone before everything gets going and I melt them. But the trouble is, they need to wait for Puck to get that hex. Yeah. Because if they get the hex, then they can hex the Naga and try and nuke one person down at least before the team fight actually begins. Yeah. And then they can start focusing on other people, force the Naga to use that song very defensively. Yeah. Rather than using it and then re-engaging, yeah. they force her to use it and then run away. We're going to have a look now at Khan. does have Arcanes up, so it's going to help that Bristle back with spamming his spells. Oh, look at that AC, 900 gold away. So it will be around the 27-minute mark. I thought it would be a little bit earlier, but things have slowed down a little bit for him with priority farming going towards Enchantress, getting the Aghanims, and Ichigo obviously towards the Hex. I've successfully signaled to Shane and Matt that I need a drink. <laughs> You want one as well? Yes, I gave him, gave the, him the thumbs the, up. The, yeah, the good old thumbs up. But that up. thumbs up might have meant I'm okay. Oh, that's like I would have just made the drinky drinky motion at that point <laughs> just to confirm. Well, we'll see what happens just when he comes back. Just to reconfirm. I do still have this ale which I haven't finished yet. Oh, that's yet, true. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I'm, 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 I'm not bothered either. The night way. is young. It's only six o'clock. We've got board games to play after all these games have finished. So Death Prophet, what do you think she gets now? I wonder if she gets some more survivability stuff just to become even harder to kill. I think a Yules would be a decent shout. I think a Ghost Scepter. Oh, uh, Ghost Scepter, yeah, could do that. Ghost Scepter, you're going to block out the Quills, you're going to block out Marana and Impetus. There's lots of things yeah, there yeah, which, yeah. you know, would be good. And she wants to stay alive in these team fights for as long as possible. The one thing they do have to be wary of is not using that ultimate too early. Because if that ultimate is wasted pushing down, you know, just a tier one, they don't mm. have it for the next team fight. Yeah. That's when Reason are really going to see an opportunity to go in and initiate with the massive yeah. potential they have. And it is a two minute, more or less a two minute cooldown throughout. So that's pretty big. Um, hmm. Well, what do you think? Heart? For the Death Prophet? Yeah. yeah. Rod of Atos possibly as well. The, Rod of the, Atos the is the rarely great. seen Rod of Atos. Oh, Dread Knight in a big trouble. Big net, no need, oh, and Dread dies. That's the first kill for, I think, 15 minutes. 
We can actually see that on the graphs, can't we? Radiant's the last is under kill was, what's that, 24 fight. minutes? And it's now 26. Yeah, that can't be right. That's what I don't remember that. Antav killed Radiant's Visage on top lane uh, when Puck and Visage went up top. That's uh, oh, about three minutes ago. It feels Dyer's like a lot longer because both fallen. teams sort of running down lanes, defending, pushing, trying to control the map, which is such a key task now. Yeah. Controlling that map, seeing where you've got farm, allowing your core heroes to farm that. Invisible arrows, OP. Yeah, I'm telling you, I can't see them either. I, l I can't see them either. It's bugged. There's something wrong. The arrow, you can only see like a little slight blue, uh, a white sort of glowy yeah. line. You can't see the full arrow. Antap has a big item in the making. That's going to be really big for when they catch someone out of position. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. But Lifestealer has, I think, the same item coming out for him as well. Yeah, I think so. To deal with that bristle, right? Yeah. Look at his armor. <laughs> 26. Huh. With the damage reduction with his back turned of 20%. Of uh, 40%, sorry, with his back. That's madness. What are they doing here? They're walking around in their jungle. Mm -hmm. Now, Dread with this Agadens, we haven't seen him do any damage with no, it. No, really. because no, neither side's been doing any kind of team fighting. They've all been very cautious, and this is the, the most cautious smoke gank I've ever seen. <laughs> run they this way, run that way, run this to way. To run, run here, <laughs> and then run back again. <laughs> Quick, let's go. We'll smoke to surprise the crap out of these creeps. That, cat the, that catapult, get him. Catty the catapult had no idea this was coming. Uh, lack of vision here for the Radiant team. They need to get some wards down. They uh, they haven't got any down. Oh, now they do. Khan is on the mission. Yeah. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Hellbear smashers going at this tier two tower. Maybe there'll be a fight, what do you reckon? Well, now people are starting to push into towers. The enemy team have got to react and try and defend. But I don't think they have to commit into a 5v5. They can just send one person back like the life dealer, and that's enough to scare Antab away. Yeah. Antab looking for the last hit on this tower. Arya not going to go for... Oh! We're all focused on last hitting, doesn't go for the deny. And this would be somebody TPing in here. Dread Knight. We might see a team fight here, I don't know, but there's still the Nagasong. Shane, an absolute Thank diamond. You very much. And, uh, oh, and wow. That's uh, a lot of damage from that impetus. What can they really do here? Back off. They don't really want to initiate because deny this tower. The, the reaction from it. Reason is to TP everyone to that tower and defend and deny the tower. The reaction from For Love is to back off and farm their jungle. Oy. It is literally back and forth. Can we get this tower? No, we can't. Back off and farm. Can we get this tower? Yes, we can. Let's take this tower. And it's going to come down to, in the end, who gets the most towers in the next five or ten minutes because Reason have already taken all the tier twos down. Their next job is to break high ground which is going to be incredibly difficult when you're uh. against DP, Viper, Visage, Naga, and Lifestealer. So that's what For Love are really banking on. Yeah. The fact that Reason can't break high ground. You're right, it's going to be a thriller. Um, seven kills in 30 minutes. <laughs> you're just going to keep repeating this stat every, every, every five minutes. So we've had one kill in the past five minutes, yeah. and this is what's happening. Very cautious, Dota. Well, price pool for this tournament is pretty big for yeah. the UK scene, yeah. so they definitely want to win. And uh, a little bit of pride at stake, yeah. I'd oh, say. Definitely. It's another feather in Reason's cap. Yeah. They, they don't want to lose to Danny. No. <laughs> <laughs> They've been baiting him the entire game, and they don't want to have that rubbed in their faces, for sure. I think that Orchid now on the Viper has been revealed. Decent attack speed, decent damage, but it's that silence. Try and silence up that dazzle so that Grave and Heal doesn't come out. Focus down another hero. Oh, Ichigo silenced hey, up. Ichigo in trouble here. Takes a lot of damage, but he should be okay. They are waiting for this Roche very patiently. 30 seconds to go. Puck nearly has Hex. Dread is working towards Hex of his own. Big items coming out very soon, I've got to say. But will they actually do anything with them? Because for the past 20 minutes, we've seen items upon items. Halberd trying to be completed by that Naga. I mean, the, the thing is, the longer the game goes on, the more likely one massive fight will decide yeah. the game. Rather than sort of building up ahead of steam, it's literally going to be 
well, we've all bumped into each other somehow and we're forced to fight. And so now we'll get racks off that. But that plays into Full Love's draft more than it does Reasons. Because they've got Naga Siren to, si uh, to sing and Indeed. stop the team fight. Then they've also got a better split pushing lineup. They've also got a better team fighting lineup, in my opinion. The Reason lineup really wants to try and chase down the enemies yep. and find pickoffs. And there is a sheep stick now on Puck. So he's got Blink, Silence, Dream Coil, Sheep. It's time. We are going to see some action. Friends, let us fight. But uh, of course, there is a there is a Roche now, scouted out by the Visage <laughs> Golem or uh, familiars. Uh, go familiars or Gargoyles, whatever you want to call them. Gargoyles. And, uh, Dread gets scattered out oh, there. Oh, Dreadly oh, in all in kinds of trouble. of trouble. All kinds of trouble. There's the shallow grave. Not going to be enough to save no, him, though. No, maybe not. Well, maybe. Actually, no. Dies to the Linen Infest. No, Death Prophet. Death Here Prophet. Comes it comes, go. A little bit risky. Double go. dust pop. Able to get away. Lots of... Look at all this stuff on their team. They've got Neckfoot Creeps, Ghosts, uh, Golems. It's a lot. A lot of allies. And Roshan melts with that medallion up on that visit My as well. My goodness. So there's a Rosh for Lifestealer. And now... It could be in trouble because the push of uh, for love is very strong. Although they are doing it now without death prophet. <laughs> but by the time they get to the tier two, they'll have death prophet. Yeah. And of course, they wouldn't be pushing anyway because Enchantress will be back, and we'll be back where we were. Reason there was a kill. There, there was, was a kill. <laughs> there was a kill. The thing is, reason smoked so early. They got the hex. They wanted. Uh, they, they literally thought, as I said, got the hex. Let's go. Make something yeah. happen. They walk all the way across here. They pause a second. They think, hang on, this is a bit risky. What do we do? Dread walks up the hill. The rest of his team split. So Dread was alone, caught completely out of position. And then the rest of his team is forced into this scenario where we have to save Dread to do any damage because he has Aghanim's impetus. But we don't want to waste everything on Dread to save Dread because Grave was used, Heal was used. They want to save those for heroes like Puck, for Mirana, for the yeah. pushback, who are their massive damage dealers as well. I mean, Mirana with that Desolator now, with Manta style drums, face boots, she does a load of damage. She just doesn't have the positioning and space to do it. I love it when they get a Roche and just go back to farming. <laughs> do, you, do you love that? Is that oh, what you love? I love it. So, another smoke. I wonder if they'll bump into someone here. This rotation, if they bump into somebody in the secret shop. They're going up high ground though. Ichigo gets spotted out. There's the Viper. the Viper. There's the song. This, the fight has been reset. They're all ready. This could be a big familiar DPL's stomp on top in. of four. Gets two, three with the stomp. Dread Knight goes down. Ichigo in all kinds of trouble. Khan as well. Nice blink. Well, no, what? The ghosts are out. Khan tries to TP home. Oh. He makes it by the skin of his teeth. Granas is out as well. Ichigo running away. Ichigo invisible Dread with Morano. He will TP out. Dread getting picked off. Enchantress is meant to be hard to kill. Visage died as well. I feel like I'm mis-selling. That's a one-for-one one trade so far. Yeah. Bring your ghosts, lady, because we got a tower to kill. Yeah, but they're all going to be sucked back inside of her. Come to me, my beautiful lady. <laughs> yeah, they're not so beautiful, are they? She cracks me up. She's like a madam. She's like a ghostly madam. <laughs> oh, it's Life go. Dealer, oh, going that's a big signs from DP though. Aaron. Groners, he's fine. These familiar stomps are really, really annoying. There. Oh, yeah. oh, lots of damage on the Nagasar and she will die. The Aegis is popped. And they want him. They're going to get him. Can he TP oh. out? So much damage. That's what I'm saying. So much damage. And King Dave. King Dave King wins Dave an item. With a prize. Well done, Dave. He didn't even notice. <laughs> he didn't even notice until I told him. Well done. <laughs> They're going to take a tower here. Or a, a Rax, possibly. Full of getting a little bit too big for their boots there. Yeah, I think so. DP ulti was down. They didn't have song. Naga was out of mana completely. Yeah. The Life just kind of ran into the middle of them and just got owned. And that's how much damage that Marana can do. Yeah. That Desolated Manta just ripped and shreds. Absolutely. The Life like, I can TP out of this, no problem. They've got enough yeah. stuns. And Marana hits him three times and he dies. So they didn't even lose a tower. And back they go. Let's take a look at the warding from the Dire side. Pretty nice map vision. Radiant a little more aggressive. Dire a lot more passive if you look at their warding now. Reason are way up in gold and XP. Oh yeah, they have been for most of the game. Yeah. S slowly but slowly incremental uh, advantage gain. 
But once again, this is kind of like the Reason Infused game. Mm. Both teams are capable of winning this. It's 6-6 six to six at 37 minutes in. That's, that's how difficult this game is. Both teams have got a lot on the line yeah. here. Yeah. We're getting close to the stage where you can not You can possibly... Well, I think you can probably qualify. I'm not sure if they have already qualified at this stage, either of them. Um, because I know that you know those, the top teams in the group will tend to win those games and qualify. But, like, Reason Infused... For love are all in the same group and I, how many go through i think it's four okay so was it eight teams per group or six six well there was one group of six one group of five okay so one group has four out of five people and only one person drops or okay. one team drop the other has two teams drop gotcha. because there's one obviously there's uh beyond defeat in one team and then there's f uh too fast too furion and don't be a dick in the other right right which are pretty much the three teams which most likely will drop out i don't think they've won any games yet okay from what i've seen so it does appear that the other eight teams who definitely can uh or do have a chance of winning this tournament will be going through to the Olymp. There used to be a tower there for two seconds ago. That DP ult. I mean, how much damage does each ghost do? Are they gonna? Are they racing? Fifty-five. Well, they've got technically two lanes pushed, so they can go for the tier three at mid, then go uh, and then go racks, then swap. But Naga, look where she's sitting. She doesn't need to be pushing. This is gonna be so good for the die side because they can take racks and TP back. Oh wow. This was a little bit of a bad decision from Reason. They're going to have to commit so heavily now. Naga Song is down. Radiance Courier goes down. They have to get this Rax or, or they basically lost this trade. Lifestealer infests. Can they get the Rax? They yep. can. Can they get the other one? No. They're going to back off. Still 6-6. Six, six. They did trade. Not quite evenly, but more or less. I, that just, just, just shaded for love there. Yeah. I wonder if they're going to try and turn this around. And let's go. Let's go back in, chums. But look uh -oh. at the bot lane still pushing in. I think for love must know. No one's going back to defend. Yeah. And now they can melt this wreck. Yeah. So now it is a relatively even trade. There I don't think they re-engage here. They actually said I don't think they've got a ward here, but of course they do. But it didn't matter because the Marana all they were able to turn around. Yeah. That was uh that was good. I, I thought that for love should have pushed his lane out immediately. Well it's like you said, all of a sudden a burst of action happens and racks fall. But nobody died, it's still six. <laughs> <laughs> nobody died, but lanes. buildings were killed, but <laughs> no one was harmed in the making of this base push. It's getting a little bit silly now. They've got a gem on that Naga now. Someone noticed before I did dewarding there in the jungle. And Death Prophet has a heart, so very difficult to bring down now. You might have a little sleep after this game. A little bit of a nap. Just a little nappy nap around the back there. <laughs> There'll be an hour's break before the next one, I'm sure. In fact, there is a break of this game. Isn't there like dinner break? We were supposed to have... It was, this was supposed to finish at like two or three or yeah. so four or something like that. And then we break until six or seven. Yeah. But that, that three that or four hour break. That plan went right down the toilet. Yep. Basher now up on that life steal of Viper has a BKB, which was just called out. Khan seems to notice everything that's going on before I even mention it. So he's a genius. He's very good at clicking heroes and looking at what they have. <laughs> Stand in the goal. Are they going to look for a fight here or not? Okay, it looks like they might try. Stand in the Now they just have to back to their tower. <laughs> yeah. Looking for that Aghanims. Yeah, it's quite a way away by some TP scrolls. And how long on this ult now? They are going to get spotted out by that ward. Yep. Signals are going to come out. There we go. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Bot lane being pushed in. Someone needs to TP back and defend this. <laughs> I like that ward. Uh, Let's see that? Portal uh, ward. the guy from uh, Portal, right? Oh, God. What's his name? Stephen Merchant voiced yeah. him. Um, it's like will be or something. Yeah, something like that, isn't it? My, my memory fails me. Yeah. Not. And that butterfly now. So many big items <laughs> coming out of literally nowhere. Yeah. Because teams are just farming and farming, and Shiva's almost done on Dread now. That's going to be great for them. Full staff on Dazzle. For Visage. Well, he's still got brown boots, medallion, full staff. 
Viper has a BKB and an Orchid, as we know. <laughs> People have items. Yeah. But the question is, what are they going to do with them? How does this help them yeah. in the team fights? Because with reason, they want to try and find a pick off, move into base. They've breached high ground already. I don't know what their next plan of action is going to be. Do they push mid and top, and then try and loop in from top to get that tier three? Well, or the next, I think the next roche will be pretty big. Because at least you know they can both contest it. I mean, yeah. if you don't get a pick off, how do you, you can go for it? But you'll, I mean, th th I think the next fight will be right around here, one way or another. And they're saying go and check it. Both teams know it must be nearly time. They've lost their vision. The radiant team have lost their vision. Look at how far back reason Look is at standing that. behind reason, the tier That's three. reason's vision. Almost nothing. Compare that with with Dyer. Yeah, it switched completely around. Reason yeah. used to have very aggressive wards. They got that, dewarded. That, gem, de -warded, on the, yeah, yeah. that gem on the Naga. Absolutely, yeah. And the Visage Familiars literally have nothing better to do than scout for Roshan forever. Yeah. It's 6-6. Six, six. They're trying to discuss what to do. They realize <laughs> there is a gem. Um, we need an injection of caffeine into this game. Both teams are so, so passive. It's a little one, bit ridiculous. One team fight. Even just losing two heroes and you've lost another Rax. And then it's yeah. probably GG. So. Well, what's the buyback status? We're going to have a look at that. We have buyback on Marana, Lifestealer, and Bristleback. No buyback on anyone else, mm. but that's only limited by gold. So let's see. Death Prophet. How m oh, Puck just bought something. Look at all the farm. Got five heroes with over 200 last hits because there's been no. Okay, now they go on the road. Yeah, but and look they're going to try and catch them on the back. This is going to be where it fight. Oh, <laughs> the Roshan goes down so quickly. Reason don't have time to contest it. Well, their plan to smoke it and go around the back. Yeah, just not coming. I to like fruition. the plan, but maybe at level two, that you know, maybe the second time they get Roche, they would have had time. But the th now, at 43 minutes in, that Roche is dead. That's so a DP up down though for that. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, interesting. But we've got she has blade mail, heart, and cheese. Uh, I think you don't focus the DP. No, I you don't need. To, I don't think you need to now. I think that's the plan. I think you get the Naga so she can't sing, melt her, and then kill the life stealer. He doesn't have. He does have a bash. He doesn't have a Bissell yet. He's just picked up bots. They know that uh, lane control is so vital. Yeah. Pushing into the base. If we'll they can the follow trap. this in, they can take a fight up here and maybe get the, the mid. Well, if, if they win a fight and Lifestealer survives, he's going to TP bot and push all the way to tier 4. Yeah, there's that too. And look at these creeps that are off here split pushing. Not the creeps, sorry, the uh, the familiars. Well, they don't have to scout Roshan anymore because he's dead. Yeah. So put them on the lane. A lone exclamation of joy from the, this quiet, quiet room. Yep, not someone from this game. No. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> See, this, I'm used to dread screaming and shouting when yeah. things are going right, but... This is tense. I mean, this is, you know, both teams are very tense. They're both uh, very focused. I'm just going to follow the DP and sit back here for a second. Have a swig of your drink. Kind of need, need the loo, but I'll hold it. <laughs> I, I, I won't food. do a cook and, and go all wild stallion and charge off. Oh, at I-50 is the most ridiculous thing. Um, one person needed the bathroom, another person needed the bathroom. I thought, okay, I'm, I'm fine for now. I can hold it in. Then there was like a five minute break and then, okay, I really need to go to the bathroom. Then someone else needs the bathroom. Just constant stream. It's in the of middle of the game? No, not in the middle of the game. Just uh. before a game started. Ah. Uh. I was going to say, that would be a heck of a pause. So now we might finally see a fight. Both teams fronting up against one, one another like opposing gangs in some kind of turf war. Clicking their fingers. Yeah. <laughs> They'll maybe oh, sing a song. Arrow lands, lands on Massive for Apex as well. And that is an Aegis down. Dreamcoil catches three. Oh, Ichigo is going to die oh, though. Yeah. And he does indeed die. DP ult already? Has it been two minutes? Holy moly, it has. Does he have buyback? Puck does he not have does buyback. He does not. That's tier three. So that is a uh, that is indeed another another racks. There's an arrow, catches the DP, but it doesn't matter. Her ladies down? are still doing work. That's Sheba's oh. song. Oh dear, this looks very 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 bad indeed. They and they're going to go mind. ham on these guys now. Antab in trouble. Grono's running away as fast as he can, tanking those illusions. Are they going to go objective nice base gaming? 
They're going to get the tower, maybe. Here's another oh, arrow coming in. It's a creep. or oh, it hits one of the familiars, sorry. And he may just force them back here. Tower is still standing. They oh, use a lot of spells. That impetus doing a lot of work, and they kill the familiars, too. Top lane, do they have boots of travel? Only Puck has the boots of travel, so they can't TP up there. Uh, well, they've all gone back to base, apart from Death Prophet, who will just race car there. So they didn't lose anything. They've lost a little bit of the tower here, about half. They did lose their tier 2 mid, of course. Did nah, she is still on the Death Prophet, but they took each of the mortal off of the life dealer. One kill each way. But nothing really gained. Let's see if Reason can actually make something happen now. See if they can push up this mid lane. God, I hope someone ends it soon, because I need the loot. They might do what I was Crack on, before. lads, crack on. Let's try and make some movement around that top lane. Arrow, Arrow misses, but miss. they know what's up. There goes the blink from Ishigo. Sheep. They're going. A lot of silence going down. Can they kill the Naga Siren? They cannot. Is in the middle of nowhere. Oh, wow. And he is dead. He buys back. The Can cheese. they get... There's the cheese popped by Death Prophet. She's going to drop, though. Tab. Lots of damage coming down from Gwara. Oh, goes down as well. Down goes Life this Healer. Is he is massive dead. For Naga Siren dead. Too. Naga Siren buys back. They have a minute and a half before they have to worry about Life Stealer. Grunner's tanking all of that shallow grave. They're going to stay. Fight, fight, fight is the shout. And they kill Naga Siren. She bought back as well. She dies too. Reason Gaming, pull it out they're of going the bag. Are they going straight for the tier fours or are they going to get mid rags? They're not quite sure. I don't know, but Dread, Dread is, is taking trouble. a lot of damage from the tower. They're going to go for the tier fours, maybe. Viper takes the aggro of the creeps, pulls that back. Uh, there goes the tower. Now they can get another lane of I think they should mega creeps here. I don't think they can get the tier fours just yet. Maybe. Maybe. As They're going to go down. They're going to go for the other lane of racks. 6.7k gold up on him as well. God, that's crazy. Oh, and they take another one down. Oh, yeah. Buys back. Buy back from Visage. But that is going to be GG. And uh, that really just fell apart there. Bad positioning and all of a sudden the game is over. Well, it was like I was saying, they can do a nice sweeping movement up in this top lane because it's naturally pushing. And come around with Mirana Ulti. They've got plenty of damage and tab. Perfectly positioned to just rip people to shreds. Danny D on that life stealer though. Getting caught out of position way too far ahead yeah. of his team. No death profit ult, which was absolutely vital as well. Forced yeah. to use the cheese defensively. Not want, not what for love really wanted to happen. Now they have to deal with mega creeps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can buy back and then just walk into the middle of them like that. That was that was a big... Uh, they might have just been able to turn around and fight them off, but um, just a lack of positioning. Well, the, the first time he died, he was over here. Yeah. The second time he died, he literally walked into the middle of them and died here. Yeah. A little bit of panic there, I think. Um, just just bad positioning. We've seen that. That makes It makes such a huge difference. And um, such a key here. And his like farm, I mean... He's, he's fifth in farm, given that this game has basically been free farm for 50 minutes, which it has been. I mean, there's been, it's, there's been no ganks. It's been farm, 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 pretty much the entire time. For him to be fifth in farm, uh, he needed to be higher up. I think he should have got a Midas, to be honest with you, and should have at least another. He should have Abyssal right now, yeah. at least. He doesn't have the flash farm capabilities that, you know, Mirana with Starstorm, Beastmount... Uh, Bristleback can yeah. that cool spray, can stack up camps and take them down relatively quickly. Yeah. And they're just going to go for it. They're going to say, look, this is our chance. Forget the Mega Creeps, we've just got to go for it. Nice arrow hit there. Yeah. Murana does so much damage, no blade mail or anything. Look at that TP damage from Murana. Oh, yeah. Song And there's too the late. song, but it's way too late. Buyback from Death Prophet, ulti goes as well. Team Box is in there, and there go the ghosts. Ichigo in trouble, but he Sorry, goes stop. scepters and he's okay. And they're Radiant! <laughs> creeps radiant have won because the creeps were busy doing their job! <laughs>